Hi, everybody. This is Charlie. Today, I'm here with Maria and Jenny. We're going to do a quick introduction into how to use Discord. We get a lot of questions about this. People don't see their notifications, etc. We want to get everybody on the same page, so we're going to start this real quick. When you first get to Discord, you're going to end up in the waiting room. Now, one of two things will happen. Jenny will send you a message if she sees you first. Maybe if it's 2 o'clock in the morning and she's asleep, you might want to send her a message. But it'll go as follows. Right here, you see I got a notification from Jenny that says, Hi, welcome to the Black Box family. If you could take a minute to respond of who I am to get started, I'm going to go ahead and respond. Hi, Jenny. This is BB2. I'm a B-Box member. Jenny's going to respond with... Welcome on board. She's going to give me some information. Jenny, talk to us about that information real quick. Another thing I just want to mention is when you come into the waiting room, and if you are a trial and you say, I'm here from Maria, or I'm here from Charlie, be sure to let me know your Twitter name or stock Twitch name, or if you use an email to come in for the trial, because that's the quickest way for me to verify who you are. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you, I'm going to approve you so you can see all the channels in Discord, and then I'm going to send you our videos to watch, because that's critical in understanding our system. And I'm going to send you the link now to both private Twitter accounts we have. So you will definitely want to follow us on those and let me know your Twitter name. Because just following alone will not get you approved. So follow, let me know your Twitter name, and then we can approve you. That's good information, too, because a lot of times we have people sit there for days and days. We don't know who you are. We don't approve you. So once Jenny approves me and sends me everything, again, watch all the videos. Everything she sends you, she, she's sending you for a reason. So once I'm approved... Then I'm going to click on this icon, that green and black icon, and now I've got all these channels. And here's the information Jenny sends me. This is a video of, you know, how to do this and how to do that. And if you're a trial, she's going to give you the login information for Black Box. Once I'm in and approved, I can now see all these channels. Maria, I'm going to let you go over these channels. Absolutely. Good morning, guys. Let me go ahead and get this sent over to me. This is the Discord application. I use the desktop application. It tends to work a little bit better than the Discord website. Your basic layout over here on the extreme left are going to be your the servers that you're a part of. Then you're going to see here directly to the right of that, it's going to be a list of all the channels within the server. And then, you know, in the center, you're going to see the actual content, the text chat. And on the right-hand side, you'll see a list of who's online, who's not online, members, moderators, stuff like that. So going back over here to the list of different channels right now, or initially you're in the waiting room, Jenny then approves you, and then you're going to be able to see all of these channels. One thing I want to point out is that you do have to click the little arrow directly to the left of the title of the channel. So right next to Training and Resources, there's this little arrow thing. If you click that, you're going to see all of the channels underneath there. So within here, we have Classes and Education, Resources, Catalyst Room, which Teresa posts economic calendars and earnings calendars. There's a Stockbox channel. So if you want to see different chart, it will pop that up. If you want to see share data, it's going to pop that up. We have a TOS script room, which a lot of members have posted different scripts. Most of them are free that you can use. I think they're all free, actually. And then also we have a watch list and users channel. So I have a watch list channel, Spectre does, and Tech Money does. Uh, you'll see here, Tech Money has posted some stuff. He will tag at everyone. I mentioned this at everyone tag because you're going to see that when at everyone is mentioned, you're going to get a notification next to the name of the channel. It's going to be a little red circle with a number there with a the number of notifications. Now, before I get to that, I do want to also mention the flex rooms. So this is where all of our non-stock or non-market related commentary and conversations and stuff happens. That's where we're going to have classes too. If we're going to go Correct. to a flow class or another class, you're going to see us say, meet us in the flex room. So you're going to have flex room text and flex room voice. It'll be important that while you're on flex room voice to also click flex room text so you can see what we're posting and follow along. Exactly. The next category of channels are probably the most important within the room or within the server itself. It's titled main BBS trade rooms. Now, when you, when you get out of the waiting room and obviously you need to know where to go, the text channel for the chat room is called BBS trade room right here. So here you're going to see that there are people talking about trades, charts, and whatnot. Throughout the day, you're going to see that this thing goes all day long. Also, BBS Voice. When you click on this, it will automatically connect you to our voice channel. And this is where you will hear your mod and some members talking pretty much all day long. We're talking about trades, we're answering questions, things like that. The notifications that you're seeing here, the little circles, are the ones that are at everyone. And this is where mods are posting trades. So right here, Charlie has a test at everyone, sorry, video testing, but you see, I got the notification to tell me that 
something's happened within that room. So you need to keep an eye on these three, especially these three channels. We have mod swing trades. Again, Charlie's put in everyone testing. We have a risky AF room. This is also an important room to keep an eye on. The other thing I want to go over is notifications. Now, again, when you when you connect to voice, at least on the desktop, I have mindset to push to talk. So when I connect to voice, no one can hear me. If you don't have push to voice connected, what you'll want to do is click on the gear wheel right here in the bottom area. And then you're going to click on notifications and you're going to go through and you need to mute all of these. All of these need to be muted so that we can't hear your constant notifications throughout the day. Another thing that you can do because some people want notifications for specific servers is if you click on this arrow at the very top next to the word black box, if you click on that and click on notification settings, you can actually create specific notification settings for different channels. So if I want on, let's say on tech monies, I want specific notifications. Let's say I just want notifications where there are mentions. I can click on that and then hit done. And now I'm only going to get a notification in Tech Money's channel for Tech Money's channel if there's a mention there. And that's pretty much how you use Discord. We want to thank everyone for joining us today. If you have questions, you feel free to ask any of your moderators. We do have Q&A on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we hope everyone has a great weekend. We will see you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.